Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm really excited to be partnering with Skillshare. So you might know me from just this YouTube channel, but I also have been teaching on Skillshare for about eight years. I've produced several series of classes in areas such as storyboarding, 2D classical animation, background design, concept art, and of course, figure drawing. So I'm really grateful that Skillshare have sponsored this video and have given me a discount code to share with you. The first 500 people to click the link below can have one month free membership to the platform. This means that you can explore the entire platform. You can browse through the whole library of classes on any topic that you're interested in. Obviously, I would love you to join me in my figure drawing class. This class focuses on three crucial aspects of figure drawing. Expression, which is all about, you know, making strong dynamic marks and getting confident in your line work. Um, observation, which is all about learning how to see like an artist and structure, which is understanding basic anatomy and knowing what to look out for on the model. There is a class project for you to tackle and over in the projects and resources tab, you can browse through other people's work, see how they've approached the exact same drawing as you and get inspiration and ideas from them. If you share your drawing, then I can give you personalized feedback and offer suggestions and critiques that I think will really help to push you forward with your work. I've also got a full class on gesture drawing. This is an often misunderstood technique or aspect of drawing, and I thought it deserves a class on its own. In this one, we go really deep into the techniques and explore several ways to generate a dynamic and powerful mark making experience. So if you think you would benefit from learning with this approach, then I'd love for you to join me in that class. I have also got classes, as I said, for animators, for concept artists and background designers, as well as classes for storyboard artists. So if you really want to build out your portfolio and develop your art skills in general, then take a look through here. If you're unsure of which class you should take, well, that's the beauty of a Skillshare subscription. You can drop in at any time during your one month free trial and try out as many classes as you like. Find ones that suit you. You're not in any way tied to just one class or one teacher with this subscription. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives, and that's where you belong. There are thousands of classes led by industry pros across film, illustration, design, painting, music, and much more. And the other standout feature about Skillshare is that they carefully curate learning paths so that if you wanted to go really deep on one topic, you can find a whole curriculum for just that subject. These learning paths are hand-picked classes that are meant to be taken in order that build on one another, reinforcing each of the lessons that you learn. Just browsing through the library, you'll see that there are so many different excellent classes on offer. And that brings me to the main topic of today's video. I wanted to share a few tips for anyone who is self-directed and learning figure drawing by themselves. The first tip is to make sure that you really are taking full advantage of the fact that you have so many resources at your fingertips. Learn from as many teachers as you can. That's the opportunity that you have right now. Take as many different classes, learn about as many different approaches. I highly recommend looking into Brent Eveston's classes. Brent is a fellow top teacher on Skillshare. He has an amazing catalog of really in-depth quality classes that each build on one another. He also happens to have an amazing YouTube channel. Um, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. Definitely go and subscribe there as well. I think one of the most important things as an artist and as a beginner is to have an open mind. You know, a lot of people will tell you, don't do this, don't listen to that person, but you're the one who needs to find out and learn what works for you. So I would say having an open, generous mindset is an important part of being an artist. Then my second tip is to make sure that when you are studying online, you don't restrict yourself to just using, you know, one kind of material. This is something that I've seen a lot of students do, and it is natural to do this when you're studying, you know, online at home. 
You kind of tend to stick with your sketchbook and your favorite pencil. Try to draw with as many different types of materials. Experiment, uh, make one day, maybe one day you'll draw with charcoal, another day draw with ink or paint. I was recently watching a beautiful video by Chris Hong using watercolors for figure drawing and it was so inspiring. And I realized that I'm not using enough different materials. Then my third tip is to keep drawing offline. So when you close your laptop or you step away from your phone or your iPad, always be drawing. Try to draw from life as much as you can. Sketch constantly. Uh, don't let your drawing practice only ever be the stuff that you do in front of a screen. Uh, try to expand out and draw without a screen in front of you. Take what you've learned from the lessons and the classes online and see how that can be applied to drawing from life. Cafe drawing is really the best exercise that I could recommend if you can't get to an actual life drawing session. So thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you got some good information or some useful tips and definitely check out that subscription to Skillshare in the description below. I want to say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, but also for supporting me as a teacher over all these years. I hope you check it out. I hope you check out my class. And if you do, I'll look out for you in the project section.